we will check out how to find the substituents in an organic compound. The rule is actually very simple. There are only three things present in an organic compound structure. The functional group, the parent chain and everything else is a substituent. So anything that is not a functional group or which is not part of parent chain is a substituent. That's it. Let's see some examples and see how we can apply this rule. Let's start with something like this. We have an OH here and a double bond here. So clearly the functional group is present here. So that is out of the list of substituents. So this is not a substituent. And all that remains in this compound is the functional group. That's right. There are no substituents in this compound. Because everything is either a functional group or it is the parent chain. Another example. I have something like this. Here is a CH3 and then here is an OH. So clearly the functional group present in this compound is OH and if you if you look at this compound carefully this is your parent chain so let's remove that portion. After getting rid of the parent chain and the functional group we see that there is a CH3 lying over here. Now this CH3 is a substituent. Let's take one more example. I have a compound like this. Here is a chlorine. Then uh, let's take a COOH group here. And let's take an OH here. Now this compound has more than one functional group. So if you remember, only one of them can be treated as the primary functional group and that primary functional group is the COOH. So now that we have identified the primary functional group, let's look at the parent chain. And the parent chain, if you watch carefully, is this. That means there are two groups that are not part of the parent chain and that are not the functional groups. One is a chlorine over here and another is the OH group. Now these two groups are what we call substituents. So to summarize once again, all those groups that are not part of the parent chain or that are not the functional group are called substituents. So guys, in this video, we looked at how to identify the substituents present in an organic compound. 